Mate, uh, obviously you're graduated now. Um, as you reflect back at your time at university, uh, what was it like? What was your experience of trying to, trying to live for Christ, uh, trying to be salt and light in the context of, of your sports team? Uh, when you reflect back, what does it, what does it look like? What did, it, what did it feel like? Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, it was, it was hard um, and I wasn't very good at it, um, particularly to begin with. Um, one of the first things I did when I, I got to university was get stuck in uh, with the rugby club. Um, at, and one of the other th first things I did when I got to university was get stuck in to church. Um, but my friends at church had nothing to do with the rugby club and my friends at the rugby club had nothing to do with church. And I, I very much lived a double life. Um, uh, and that was rubbish. <laughs> um, I felt torn in different directions all the time. Um, and I wasn't living consistently uh, at all. Um, one day Dave Hampton sat me down and told me to sort my life out, which I uh, started to try to do um, and started to connect the dots. And, and what was really exciting for me at that time was friends from the rugby club expressing an interest in coming along to church, hearing the gospel. Um, and that was really exciting and um, a really good time. Uh, it completely changed the game for me, um, knowing that it was okay for me to be a Christian in a rugby club, to share Jesus with my teammates, that that wasn't weird, um, was, yeah, complete li a completely life-changing moment for me. That's ace. Nice. Thanks, bro. Thanks for being so, so honest. Um, talk, to me, uh, talk to me about the group itself, your CIS group. What... What role did that play for you? How is it, how is it useful for you in the context? Yeah, a uh, cool story about the CIS group at, at Glasgow Uni. So when I arrived um, at university, I didn't even know Christians in Sport existed. Um, there was one girl, um, Moira Watkins, and she met on her own for like two or three years every Wednesday morning and prayed that one day there would be a, a Christians in Sport group. Um, and by the time I left uni in my fifth year, there were like, I mean, there were probably 30 of us in our Facebook group, 40 of us in our Facebook group with between 10 and 15 meeting every Wednesday morning. Um, so uh, if you are tuning in on this and you're on your own, keep praying um, because God does stuff like that and it's, and it's great. Um, but yeah, it was really through the, the Christians in Sport group at uni that I was challenged in the way that I was living in, in the rugby team. So. Dave sat me down, pointed me towards the, uh, towards the group, uh, but it was going along to that, having that accountability, uh, having people kind of every Wednesday morning being like, how are you sharing the gospel today? Um, that really kept me going. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Thanks, bro. Okay, one more question. Uh, now, obviously, this has been a particularly challenging year, uh, and we're, we're hoping and praying for a refresh, uh, a restart to the world of sports soon. Um, some, of, some of the freshers might not even, even have had much opportunity to meet teammates or be a part of anything yet. Mm -hmm. uh, you're now seven, eight years on from freshers week, from your freshers year. If, if you had the opportunity to drop a message back to your old fresher self, mm -hmm. uh, or even just to your old student self, uh, to give, give them an encouragement, a challenge to at keep on walking, running, playing in the light for Christ. Uh, what, what would you say? What piece of advice would you give them? Yeah, I think uh, just be real, be honest, nail your colours to the mast in your sports team uh, early. Tell them that you're a Christian as early as you can. Um, but don't let that uh, kind of be a pressure to be a, a perfect human being. Um, Sam Albury, Christian writer, um, brilliant, read his books if you haven't, haven't read them. And he said something like this, uh, we don't need to be perfect to make Jesus look good. Um, we need to be honest to help people see that Jesus is perfect. Um, I just think that's um, brilliant. Um, and I wish I'd known that at uni um, because the pressure to be perfect and just never measuring up to that um, crippled me at, at times. Um, yeah, we don't need to be perfect to share the gospel with our teammates. We just need to be honest with them. Oh, bro. Thank you, man. That's ace. Hey, thanks for joining us. And uh, yeah. thanks for being an encouragement. See you soon.
See you soon.